Hello everyone! In this video you will learn how to crochet doily with leaves like this. This doily have seven parts, six leaves and this circle in the middle. For this tutorial I used a larger hook and yarn as usually we use for tablecloth because you can better see the procedure. And I used 3.5 mm hook and yarn 125 meters in 50 grams. But if you use standard yarn for tablecloth, then it will be smaller, about 35 centimeters. First we will do 6 leaves, but we will not complete last 11th round, because we will connect leaves in this round 11. Tutorial how to crochet leaf like this is on my channel. There is link for this tutorial in right top corner. So click on I in the corner and you will got the link. And when you do six leaves, come back on this tutorial and here we will connect the leaves. When I did tutorial for leaf, I used markers in these colors. And I suggest you to use the same color markers as I, because you will need it when we will connect the leaves. I made six leaves, and this is number one, two, three, four, five, and six. On leaf number one, I completed last eleventh round. And leaf number two, I started 11 round here and I made single crochets around. Then I passed two red markers. These two leaves we will connect on places where we have purple markers and place with blue marker. Here is purple marker. I made single crochets on last double crochet. Now I have this chain 3. On chain 3 space we do two single crochets. One and two. Then take your hook out and go into this chain 3 space on leaf number one, where we have purple marker, grab this loop and pull it through. Then do two more single crochets into chain three space. One and two and then do single crochets until you reach to the chain 3 space and blue marker. I made single crochet on last double crochet. Then do two single crochets into chain 3 space, one and two. Then take your hook out, go into next connection place. It is on blue marker on leaf number one. Grab the loop and pull through. And then do two more single crochets into chain three space. One and two. And now continue to do single crochets to the end of the round until you reach to the green marker. 
Now we'll connect leaf number 2 and leaf number 3. Again, we will use places with blue and purple markers. I started around 11 and I passed these two red markers and I come to the purple marker. Now we will connect these two leaves on the same way as previous. Into chain 3 space we do two single crochets, one and two, then take your hook out and go on leaf number two on the purple marker and then go into this chain 3 space, grab the loop and pull through. Then two more single crochets into chain 3 space, one and two and then do single crochets until you reach to the chain 3 space and blue marker. I made single crochet on last double crochet, then into chain 3 space do two single crochets and now connect leaf number two and leaf number three on place marked with blue marker. Go into chain three space, grab the loop and pull through. Then again two single crochets into the same chain 3 space, one and two, and continue to do single crochets until you complete this round, it is on place where we have green marker. Connect leaf number 3 and leaf number 4 on the same way, so on blue and purple markers. Also connect leaf number 4 and leaf number 5 on the same way. And then leaf number 6 we will do together. I connected all leaves except number 6. Leaf number 6 we will connect on leaf number 1 and leaf number 5. I started to do single crochets here and I reach to the first blue marker. Into this chain 3 space do two single crochets then connect it on place with blue marker on leaf number one grab the loop and pull through then two single crochets on chain 3 space one and two and continue to do single crochets until you reach to the chain 3 space and purple marker. I come to the purple marker, on chain 3 space do two single crochets then connect it on leaf number one, and then two more single crochets into the same chain three space. 
Continue to do single crochets until you reach to the next purple marker. It is in this place here. I come to the purple marker, then do two single crochets on chain three space, connect it on purple place on leaf number five, grab the loop and pull through, then do two more single crochets on chain three space, And continue to do single crochets until next chain 3 space and blue marker. I come to the blue marker. On chain 3 space do two single crochets. Connect it on leaf number 5. Then do two more single crochets on chain 3 space. Now we connected all leaves. Now just continue to do single crochets until you reach to the end of the round. On place with green marker. We completed six leaves and next we do is the circle in the middle. We will start this circle with magic ring. Take the yarn with these three fingers. Yarn over point finger. Keep tension with the small finger. Insert hook like this. Grab the yarn and pull through. And then do chain one. Magic ring is done. And now into this magic ring we are going to do 12 double crochets. First we do one more chain, yarn over, go into the ring and do first double crochet. Yarn over, into ring, do second double crochet, third double crochet, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, Tenth, eleventh, and this is last twelfth double crochet. Now pull this tail and make it tight. Then go into first double crochet. We have this chain to space, but we are going into first double crochet and do slip stitch to close this round. Round one is done. And now we start round two by making chain five. Yarn over, go into next free double crochet here we did last slip stitch. Now we are going into next stitch and we do double crochet. Then do chain two, yarn over, go into next free stitch and do double crochet. Then chain two again, 
then double crochet into next stitch chain 2 and 1 double crochet until you have 11 double crochets chain 2 and this is my 11th double crochet then chain 2 and now do slip stitch into third chain this chain 3 is replaced 12th double crochet it is very important to have 12 double crochets so count it and make sure that you have it 12 we start to do round 3 and in this round we are going to do the race do chain 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 then skip 2 chains go into 7th chain yarn over then go into 7th chain and do 1 half double crochet yarn over into next chain do 2nd half double crochet third half double crochet fourth fifth sixth and seventh half double crochet Now go into next double crochet and do slip stitch. First ray is done. Next we do is second ray. Do chain 9 again. Yarn over skip two chains go into seventh and do first half double crochet into next chain do second half double crochet third fourth fifth sixth and seventh go into next double crochet and do slip stitch second ray is done then do chain nine again skip two and do first half double crochet second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh into next double crochet do slip stitch now we made three rays and we should to have 12 rays but this 12th ray we will do on different way so do eight more rays like this by yourself and then you will have 11 and 12th ray we will do together 
I made 11 rays and next we do 12th ray. And we do it like this. Start now with chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then skip just one chain, go into next and do first single crochet. Into next chain, do second single crochet, third single crochet, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh single crochet. Now we have this chain to space, go into second chain and do first slip stitch and then into this slip stitch from previous round do one more slip stitch. Then turn your work, go into first single crochet before we have these two slip stitches but we are going into single crochet. It is third stitch and here do one slip stitch. Into next single crochet do second slip stitch into next third slip stitch, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh slip stitch. Now we come to the top of the ray. So we have now 12 rays and round 3 is done. Round 4 start by making chain 5 yarn over go into last slip stitch and do double crochet yarn over into the same place do second double crochet and into the same place do third double crochet. It looks like this. Next we do is chain 3, 1, 2, 3, take the next ray, yarn over, go into this chain 2 space and here do 3 double crochets. One, two and three. Then chain three, one, two, three, yarn over, go again into the same chain two space and do three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Here we did chain three between these two shells, but between next two shells we do nothing. So we are over, go into next chain two space on next ray and do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then chain 3 and 3 double crochets into the same place. 1, 2 and 3. 
Between these two shells there is no any chains, but between next two shells we will do chain 3. Yarn over into next chain 2 space, do 3 double crochets. chain 3 and 3 double crochets into the same place. Here we did chain 3 and between the next two shells we do nothing. Take the next ray and into chain 2 space do next shell 3 double crochets chain 3 and 3 double crochets here we did nothing so between next two shells we do chain 3. Take the next ray and do next shell. We have chain 3, nothing, chain 3, nothing. And repeat this pattern until you reach to the end of the round and I will meet you there. I made my last shell. Here I have chain 3. Now we will complete this first shell. We have these chains and they will replace one double crochet. So we need to do two more double crochets. Between these two shells we do nothing. Yarn over. Go into this chain space. And do first double crochet, yarn over, into the same place, do second double crochet, and then go into third chain, and do slip stitch. We completed round 4 and we start to do round 5. Go into this chain space and do slip stitch to get on this place. Then do chain 6. Yarn over. Go into chain space and do four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Here we have chain three in previous round and now we do chain three again. Then yarn over, go into this chain 3 space and here do 4 double crochets. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then do chain 3 and into the same place we do four more double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Into previous round, here we have no any chains, so in this round we also do nothing. Yarn over. Into this chain 3 space do 4 double crochets, 1, 2, 
three and four. Then chain three and four double crochets again. One, two, three, and four. We have chain three in previous round, so we also do chain three and in this round yarn over into chain three space do four double crochets then chain three and four double crochets into the same place. There is no any chain, yarn over and do next shell. Repeat this until you reach to the end of this round. See you on the end. I come to the end and I made my last shell. And now we will complete this first shell. Yarn over, go into this chain space and do first double crochet. Then second double crochet. Third double crochet. And now go into third chain. And do slip stitch. Round five is done. Next we should to do is connect the circle on these places where we have red markers. Important thing is that this chain tree space should to be between each leaf. And between these two shells where we did nothing, it should to be connected on these two places where we have red markers on one leaf. My working yarn is on this place and now I will connect it on place where is my second red marker on this leaf. We completed round five like this. Now we do chain one, go into this chain three space and do two single crochets. One and two. Then take your hook out and go into this chain three space. Important thing is that you connect it on second red marker. Grab the loop, pull through and then do two more single crochets into this chain three space. Then do one single crochet into every 
double crochet from previous round one two three and four into this chain three space do three single crochets one two three then into this four double crochets do four single crochets one two three and four and now we reach to this chain three space do two single crochets on chain three space then take your hook out and go into next connection place it is placed with first red marker connect it And then do two more single crochets into chain three space one and two and now we do single crochets until next red marker We have four double crochets. Here we do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Then we have next four double crochets. And here we also do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four into chain three space do two single crochets then connect it on the place with second red marker then do two more single crochets into chain three space next connection places is these two red markers and these two shells into four double crochets do four single crochets then into chain three space do three single crochets into four double crochets do four single crochets and then two single crochets on chain three space then connect it and two more single crochets on chain three space Then we have this four double crochets and this four double crochets on other side. Here we do eight single crochets and then two single crochets and connection on this place. It looks like this. Continue to do single crochets and connect every shell on places with red markers.
See you on the end of this round. I come to the end. This is my last connection. Now do two single crochets into chain three space. Then four single crochets into four double crochets. And now we have these three double crochets and chain three. Into first double crochet, we do first single crochet, then second single crochet, third single crochet, and fourth single crochet, we do into third chain. Now go into first single crochet in this round and do slip stitch. Then do chain one, make it tight, and you can cut the yarn. This tail and other tails put into stitches, and our work is done. I hope that you completed your project successfully. Thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next tutorial. Bye bye!